They're trying to cheat everyone. They are saying <clears throat> they're teaching spiritual life. But if you look at their activities, they're still engaged in the same material sense gratification. What's the difference? Huh? This one famous spiritual teacher, he's, you know, giving so-called Vedic mantras and all this stuff, teaching Ayurveda and so many things. Huh? But we know one of our early students was this lady who was just a young girl when Maharishi first came. Oh, I mean, uh, when this <laughs> spiritual teacher first came to the, the United States. And he was staying as a guest in her parents' home, in her home. Huh? And she told me, straight to my face, that this man sexually molested her several times. Huh? So this is the spiritual teacher? This is guru? Huh? This is rascal. This man should be in jail. Well, he's dead now, so. But uh, still, we don't know how somebody like that can be accepted as a spiritual teacher. Huh? It can only be that people must want to be cheated, or maybe it's their karma to be cheated, to accept a, a false teaching as real, huh? to accept a phony teacher as a genuine. Now, this impersonalist teaching is very dangerous. Uh, we've spoken on this many, many times, and we write about it all the time. But it still keeps coming up again and again, like on the forum. Uh, that <clears throat> how can the soul and God be one and the same? How is it possible? God is always God. Huh? If, we were, if we were actually God, then we would already be God. What is this nonsense? Huh? It's just foolishness. It's just wishful thinking. Huh? You know, it's like the guy who tells his date, oh, you're very beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. She weighs 300 pounds, you know. You're the most beautiful. What? It's just flattery. It's just like telling people what they want to hear. Yeah, you're God. You can do whatever you like. Now give me the money. Yeah, now give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody wants to accept discipline. Nobody wants to do the hard work. Huh? Nobody especially wants to change. They don't want to work on themselves. They don't want to improve. They don't want to increase their knowledge. Huh? So if they do like that, they stay exactly the same. They remain exactly the way they were. They don't improve. They don't change. They don't make advancement. This Buddhist philosophy that everything is nothing and this rascal impersonalist philosophy that we're all God, huh? this is the cause of all the evil in the world today. Why do I say that? Because if everything is nothing, and at the end of life we all just disappear into nothingness, then whatever we do in this life doesn't matter. Huh? If there's no reward or punishment after death, no different destinations or different destinies in the next life, then what does it matter what we do? Do anything you like. Rape, steal, kill, pillage, burn, murder, uh, wars, whatever. Just do it. Have fun. This is the nonsense, most nonsense philosophy in the world. And the next, second most nonsense philosophy is you can, you're God, you can do anything. Huh? Prove you can do anything. Huh? Create a planet. You know, just a small one. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, walk across that lake. Huh? Just show us one thing that you can do. No, they can't show anything. Huh? All they can do is, is give very... Uh, sophisticated, flattering talk. Oh, you're God. You're one with everything. You are the Buddha. You are the God. No. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> and you can never become God either by any amount of mystic yoga or philosophical jugglery or uh, nonsense, bad logic. Huh? None of that is going to make you God. Sorry.
That's just the way it is. You know, in life, sometimes we have to accept something that we don't like. Because why? It's just the way it is. Huh? I have to work. I have to support myself. I have to take care of myself. I have to accept responsibility for my existence. Huh? Nobody, no child wants to do that. Every, every child wants to be taken care of by its parents forever. Why? It's easy. Huh? Oh, it's great. They feed me. They dress me in the morning. They carry me here and there. Huh? No child wants to grow up. And every child resents having to grow up and take responsibility and work and take care of. Huh? But what other alternative is there? Starve? <laughs> so we do it. Huh? And somehow or other, we solve this problem according to our abilities. This is where you see the difference in intelligence among different beings, human beings. See? Some people try to solve the problem by brute force. Huh? I'll go out and work in a coal mine, huh? or a factory, or, huh? or becoming, yeah, I'll become you know, a garbage collector, or some laborer, or something like that. And then, then they do all this dirty, horrible work. Huh? This is called ugra karma. Ugra karma means unnecessary, dangerous, dirty, contaminating work. It's degrading, actually. It, it makes your consciousness go down. It's work in the mode of ignorance. <clears throat> so they're working. Just like one man was describing to me, he was working as a welder on the pipelines in the oil fields. Welding. welding is when you take a torch and you put two pieces of metal together. Wow. With, yeah. And uh, so they're all working very hard, you know, 12, 14 hour days out there in the oil fields. And to, to get them to work that hard, the oil company would come out with a case of whiskey and just pass out. Anybody who wants to work overtime today gets a bottle of whiskey. Big can. Yeah. So like that, they would encourage them to work hard by giving liquor, uh -huh. intoxication. Uh, work and get stoned. <laughs> Wonderful. And never sleep again. Yeah, right. Really? Have right, work harder. That's why every office has a coffee machine. Huh? There's no office that does not have a coffee machine. Because they know. You drink the coffee, you get all wired, and then, <laughs> you know, you're manically doing your work. <clears throat> but we understand that this is called ugra karma. This is unnecessary. Why? Because any human being with a little intelligence can get together a piece of land and a couple of cows. Uh, Prabhupada said, one family, two acres, two cows. And you can make it. You can survive. You don't have to work hardly at all. How much work is it to take care of two cows? Huh? Like 30 minutes a day, maybe, yeah. That's if you have to milk them. And if they're not milking, then let them cut the grass for you. <laughs> huh? So by this method, nobody has to work. So then why are we working so hard? Huh? Because the rascals, they have convinced us that the only purpose in life is sense gratification. Therefore, we have to get all these unnecessary things. Big house, nice car you know, so many appliances and this and that. And oh, by the way, for sense gratification, we all have to have a separate place. Huh? So nobody knows what we're doing, because actually what we're doing is very nasty. So we don't want anybody else to see or know. So everyone has to have their own place with the door that locks, huh? and nobody else can come in. And then that means everybody has to have their own water heater, their own kitchen, their own refrigerator, their own car. You look at the highway in the morning, how many people are going to work with just one person in the car? Huh? What is this? I mean, we see here in Mexico, a lot of people don't have cars. Huh? 
And so they take public transportation like bus and like that. And it's so much more efficient. And it's not really a big problem. Once when our car was broken, we had to take the bus into the town uh, to get the parts to fix it. And uh, I mean, the bus comes right in front of our house. We live in this tiny little village in the middle of nowhere, right? But the bus goes right in front of our house. <laughs> <laughs> so all we have to do is stand at the front gate and the bus comes, picks us up, we can go to town. 18 pesos. Huh? What's that, a dollar eighty? And if we're taking the car, just to go to town and back costs about a little more than a hundred pesos in gas, ten dollars. Because it's an hour trip each way. Uh, on the 